All righty then. Logic Pro X 10.4.2. And uh, unlike those other channels on YouTube, you're going to get the proper information here. Um, right, let's start out with a disappointment. <laughs> because really, seriously, Apple, come on. Now, I'm doing this for Apple's benefit. If you don't know this channel, I can tell you that about a year ago, and people who are regular to this channel know this, about a year ago, a developer working in the GarageBand and Logic team wrote to me and said, really like the way you showed how to use all the new features in the, in the last update. Good stuff, keep it up. So we know Apple are watching my Logic and GarageBand videos. Now, just after that update, I complained in a video showing different things in the update that Apple still hadn't fixed the ability to stack an automation node above or directly below another node. This was something you could do in the old Logic 9 by using a trick, very easy trick. But once it switched from Logic 9 to Logic Pro X, that trick and the ability to stack an automation node directly above or below another was removed and never came back. Now, Apple clearly were listening to that because they've given us this. Dragging one automation point over another now aligns them vertically. But the only trouble is they haven't done it properly. Or, or what I mean by is they haven't got anyone on the Apple development team who can conceptualize about what you can do creatively with that technique. Let me show you what they've done and what they haven't done with this. I know it's a bit of an odd one to start with, but as I said, you're not going to get this on the other channels. Right, here we go. So here I have a synth with a single node. We go into the MIDI editor and we open MIDI Draw. I will now select the Retro Synth Filter Cutoff. Now note, Snap Automation is not active, right? But I'm going to make it active, boom, and I'm going to put in a node for the filter. And because the automation is active, it's I can snap it directly to any of these lines. So I snap it at this upper value um, on the very first beat of the bar. And it's slightly behind that because of the automation snap offset, which offsets all the little automation nodes slightly behind um, in time. You, you can change that if you didn't know. Look, snap automation snap offset. It's uh, set to five ticks by default. OK, right. So now I snap in another node with automation um, snap still on on the next quarter on on the quarter beat the, f the next quarter beat now i turn off snap because this stacking of one node directly or below uh, above or below another doesn't work with the snap for automation on now i put in a node anywhere and as long as that node is lower or higher value as i bring it across above or below the, the node and you must do this to the left it, there's a stickiness there, and it snaps directly below. Push too far, and it collapses. Slight, right? It snapped below. There it is. Or it snapped above. All right, so I'm going to snap it below at a lower value. Fantastic. We've got a gate, as it's called. A gate is where something goes from a higher to a lower state or from an on to an off state instantly rather than there being any time for it to ease in or out right okay now I'll put my automation snap back on bam in a node on the next quarter beat automation off because again this snapping 
directly above or below doesn't work if if snap for automation is on for some bizarre reason now I put in the next node anyway I bring it up and snap it above the one below and I've got to set this value the same as the previous node uh, yeah, like that snap back on next node bam right on the core to beat snap off drag it underneath snap it one what is that one point one five four because I'm setting this the same as the previous nodes here I have now built a quarter note gate for the filter lovely jubbly right great okay but if I want to now change this to an eighth gate, right? Well, tell you what, get the automation select tool, grab all that, bring it across. Grab, oh, grab that, bring it across. And the snap is off. Let's do. Let's try see if we can do that with the snap on. Snap on. Move the whole lot across to an eighth. Snap, and then grab this bit. Bring it across. Snap. Grab this up. Grab this bit. Bring it across. Snap. Okay. I've now changed it to an eighth gate. And now to continue that, but only over half a bar, because I've doubled the resolution from a quarter to an eighth gate. Uh, so now I've got to build it for the rest of the half of the bar. So, you know, I put my snap is active. I put in a node there. I then turn the snap automation off, put in a node there, bring it up on top. Whoop, a little bit too far. Eight, seven, four, eight, seven, four. There you go snap back on next node on the next eighth snap off it's a real pain you can't do this with snap on bring it underneath snap it with the glueiness there's a glueiness as i say as you, as you move the node underneath or above the previous one uh, 54 come on there we go snap back on put in the next node bam snap off put the note above eight seven four there we are automation back on snap on that eight automation snapping off underneath 154 there we go now i've can i've manually Changed it to an eighth gate. An eighth on the upper position, an eighth on the lower. Upper, lower, upper, lower. In eighths. Eighth, 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 eighth. Now, if I want to do it to sixteenths now, I've got to repeat the whole process. I've got to get the select tool. I've got to bring, and I can do this with snap on. Bring it across now. I've made this first step a sixteenth, then I've got to deselect and reselect those and bring this across a sixteenth, and again, and again, oh, damn, and bug racing, come on, and again, and again, and again, and this last bit, right. Now it's sixteenths, but again, I've got to manually draw in the other half of the bar at sixteenths. Now, here's the thing. Let me undo, 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 undo. Um, oops. Uh, redo. Right. Now, here's the thing. In fact, no, you know what, I'm going to undo that all the way back to quarters. 
when it was quarters. There you go, right. Now here's the thing. In Logic 9, what you used to be able to do is this, get the select tool, select that quarter note gate, all the nodes, and then you just go to functions, MIDI transform, double speed, bam, and it's doubled the speed, right? Now, can I adjust the upper value? No, it collapses it. As soon as you check, let's, let's undo so we're not, we haven't changed the speed. You see, I've built my quarter note gate. I can now get the upper value for, I can now get the upper value for that step and adjust it. And the verticalness remains. I can get this lower quarter step value and adjust it. The vertical stepping remains. Right? That allows me to adjust my upper and lower values. Right? But as soon as I select all the nodes and... Um, Transform, double speed, to make it eighths. Then it collapses the vertical thing as soon as you try to adjust the upper or lower value. Completely not done properly. Now the whole point of this is that you can start with, a, you just put in a simple quarter note gate, right? You then grab those nodes. Transform, double speed, bam. Now you've got half the amount, in other words, half a bar at um, at eighths. Now with this select tool, you just grab all this lot and you do Alt, um, copy, Alt, copy. And hey, Presto, I've got eights over a bar. Right, if I wanted to do that again, select the whole lot, but not that first node. MIDI transform, double again. Sixteenths at half a bar. Grab the whole lot from there. Because look, it starts on the lower, so I want the next node that would come here. Alt, copy across. And then we need just one more step, so just that last bit there. Alt, copy across. Hey, press, I've got 16th gate. Right, yeah, there, that all works. Except once you've done this doubling and you can do halving as well, you can do MIDI transform a half speed, which will take you from an eighth to a quarter, from a quarter to a half, you know, it works the other way around. The problem is once you've used that MIDI transform double or half speed on the automation nodes. If you then try to adjust an upper or lower value, it just collapses. Look. Wah wah. Wah wah. You see what I mean? Apple, you haven't done it right. Or you haven't got someone in your dev team who, who could conceptualize that you could do this as a technique. Okay, now. So that's the downside. I mean, the upside is, yes, we can put these nodes in directly above or below, but we have to manually do it. We can't use this technique of doubling and halving to change the tempo of our gates that we've created, right? Now, my suggestion to Apple would be this. Please, for the love of God, or if you're an atheist, for the love of whatever you believe in, just give us the automation draw brush tool that Cubase has had since, what was it, Cubase SX2 back in the early 2000s. With Cubase, and I hate to say this, Apple, but seriously, with Cubase, you just select the automation brush tool at the top, well, this is how it used to be 12 years ago, whatever, at the top of the MIDI editor, once you've selected that automation brush tool, you can drop a list down and choose a square wave, a sine wave, or a sawtooth wave. Set your snap resolution, choose the automation parameter, brush across, and it draws in a perfect row of gated or sine wave, I like square wave gated like that, or sine wave or sawtooth wave automation 
at the snap resolution, 8 16th quarters. Uh, and you can set the upper and lower value as you draw. All right? Apple, please just give us that. Go and look at how Cubase does it. Give us that. Okay, there you go, guys. That's the first thing. We can now draw in this these automation steps. Um, but the bad news is Apple haven't carried it through fully, so we can't use the MIDI transform to change the resolution of our gates. Uh, copy them over easily to double the resolution every time, or half the resolution by using... Look, because if I do it the other way around, look. If I do automation, select tool, and I select all that lot, and then I do half oh, MIDI transform, half speed, it goes to eights. I do MIDI transform, half speed, it goes to quarters, etc. Right. But the problem is once you've used that technique, from that point onwards, you can't adjust the upper or lower value because it collapses. Right. Okay. So yes, we can now draw gates with nodes stacked vertically above, and this works in track automation as well. But um, you have to, whatever the resolution of those gates you want, you have to draw it in manually, the whole smash, right? All right. But as I said, my suggestion to Apple is just give us what Cubase has, the simple ability to just draw across and draw in uh, automation with whatever wave shape at the set quantize all right easy peasy okay guys there's your first one and i told you you wouldn't get that on any other channels in youtube let's move on and look at what else we got in 10.4.2 